By the 1840s, William Wine was absolutely at the very pinnacle of his craft. And by 1847, 30 years into his time at the Royal Mint, he created arguably the most accomplished of his works. So detailed, in fact, that manufacturing this coin was, at the time, a huge undertaking, meaning that only 8,000 silver Gothic crowns were ever created and only a handful were struck in gold. The public considered them a great beauty and they went out of stock immediately. 175 years later, we are humbled to have discovered one of his original tools used to make this coin. As with the two other original wine works, we've illuminated and celebrated his genius by reforging his design using modern methods and materials. We scan the original die and create versions in perspex and plaster before rescanning and digitally perfecting it to wine's original design. It took immense skill to create the level of detail on a coin like this. Each letter punched by blackface lettering stamps. The inside edge is imperfect, and for a reason, it simply looks better like this. Indeed, even today, the design is still difficult to produce. The Gothic cross on one side of the coin is inspired from the artwork of the era, seen across architecture, such as the Houses of Parliament. Now engraved directly into 10 kilograms of pure gold, this really is the crescendo of an immense career. Queen Victoria herself took particular interest in this work of art, and she was known to say it was a great loss when Wyan died. Queen Victoria's portrait features her wearing a dress embroidered with roses representing England, thistles representing Scotland, and shamrocks which represent Ireland. It's been my privilege to celebrate one of the greatest artists the Royal Mint has ever known, breathing life back into the work of William Wyan, and concluding this trilogy with the Gothic Crown. <laughs>